Now, we're going to leave it right here because I don't want... Clearly, you will not have Texas Tech or Michigan beating the Zags because Mark Few is joining us. And <laughs> we talked to the head coach of the team that's got the number one seed down in the West. Mark, first of all, congratulations, Coach. Really appreciate it. Give us a sense of coming in this time off of what happened against St. Mary's and what your group learned from it maybe takes an advantage from what happened. Well, I mean, it... it kind of remains to be seen what we've learned from it. I, I would say it, it's definitely got us, uh, the staff and now the players refocused on, you know, the type of things that we've done pretty much this entire year other than the other night on, on what makes us successful and, and kind of conversely what doesn't make us successful. So uh, uh, it's been a good chance to kind of recalibrate and, and now we need to uh, uh, come out and get back to playing the way we were. Mark, obviously experience matters. We've seen that for the teams that have gotten to the Final Four over the last couple of years, including your team two seasons ago. When you go into this NCAA tournament, knowing that you've got guys that have been in this situation, first round, second round, Sweet 16, Elite Eight, even a Final Four, you've got a number of guys that have experienced this. How much of an advantage is that for you when you walk out on that floor? Uh, you know, Andy, I think, as you know, covering this thing for so long, it's, it's a totally different experience from your schedule every day. It's not, it's not your normal road game or neutral game. And, and just with, with all the, the things that are expected of you as a, as a player, uh, with the media and, and just the, the timing and the, the timeouts and the half times are longer and, and just everything that goes into it. So to have guys that have been through that, done that, experienced it, and really advanced, uh, you know, as far as you could possibly advance in it. I, I mean, it can't help but help you in some way, shape, or form. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's about who's playing good in those 40 minutes and who's playing good in those moments. And, and uh, uh, you know, over the, the years, our, our teams have always uh, uh, functioned very, very well in, in those moments. Mark, Steve Smith, congratulations again on the number one seed. I would like to know in, in your mind, not the most valuable player on your team, but who's the most important for this run in, in March Madness? Gosh, I mean, obviously, Steve having Josh Perkins, who's been around forever. I mean, he, thinking back to Andy's question, I mean, Josh had, I believe it was 15 points in the first half of a national championship game against Carolina. Uh, so, I mean, that that's something that you can really, really draw upon. And he's had a phenomenal senior year with just his assist to turnover ratio and, and, and the way he shot the ball. So he's obviously extremely important uh, to us. But, you know, we have the, the one thing that will, has really carried us is our tremendous balance. I mean, we can probably mm -hmm. go six or seven deep of guys that can get double figures. And so, you know, those two big kids have really really had uh, uh, phenomenal years with Rui Hachimura and Brianna Clark. Mark, you know when you're the high seed and you're playing a lower seed, like last year with Greensboro, when, when that team starts to get confident, when they maybe are, it's a game's closer, even take a lead in the first half, how do you settle your team down in that timeout when suddenly the crowd is on the Cinderella and your guys are maybe pressing a little too much because they're expected not just win, but win handily? What do you do in those timeouts? You just get back to talking to your guys about, you know, doing what we do and focusing in on, on, what, on the plan, uh, focusing in on, on, you know, controlling what, what we control. And usually that's our effort physically. That's our attention to detail, especially on the defensive end. And, and you know, what slid a little, bit, a little bit the other night with us was, I mean, we've been phenomenal taking care of the ball. Uh, this year and, and uh, you have to take care of the ball in situations like this and, it, and then when we do that with this group we have we got a lot of different ways to uh, to score the basketball so it usually involves kind of one of those uh, aspects and just and getting them back into you know focusing and 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 thinking about that and not not making it all about 116 and upsets and crowds and referees and things like that. Coach, appreciate the time. Congrats again on the one seed. You've got some basketball to watch here with the first four. Good luck against whoever your opponent is, 116, and moving forward. Thanks again for the time.
Uh, you bet, guys. Thanks.